Are those dollar store toys really worth the money? A lot of times you guys are asking me, is that really worth it, Christina? All the things that you find at the dollar store. Well, in this video, I'm gonna do a Dollar Tree toy test so that you know if it's worth it to buy it for your kids or not. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet Dollar Tree Toy Test, or some of my favorite videos to do. So that way you know if it's worth it to buy it for your kids or not, whether or not you should just save your $1.25 or spend it. I have a whole playlist of these of past Dollar Tree toy lists that you can go back and check out after this video because there are still things in those videos that are in store now. For today's video, I've got quite a bit to go over. I kind of walked the aisles and found some of the new things that I wanted to know how they performed. So let's get started. I was really curious about these new little sets. They're from Turbo Wheels line. I actually have three different ones. I have this one that is like a car service station. This one that is a car repair. This one has six pieces. And then this one has 12. It's the biggest kit and it is the car wash. So they kind of go up. So if I put them in order here, we have six pieces, nine pieces, 12 pieces. So I guess they get increasingly more difficult. It says on the box, the cars are not included. I was thinking about that when I bought them in my shop with me, I showed you and said that I think the cars are included, but they are not. So you will need cars for them. This is more of the accessory packs. Let's take a look first at this car repair kit. This one by far was really easy to put together. It was just a few pieces that snapped together and some stickers. So my daughter found it pretty easy compared to some of the other ones. Just took a little bit of hand strength. And then let's try this one. This one is the auto services kit that has nine pieces. This one was a little bit more complicated. It did have more pieces and all of them snapped together just like the first one. She had a little bit of difficulty following the instructions, but she got the hang of it pretty fast. And then the bigger one with the 12 pieces is the car wash, and we're gonna put that one together next. After the first two, this one was a piece of cake. She went ahead and put all the pieces together pretty quickly. She did the stickers, added all the pieces on, looked at it and looked at the picture. There was no written instructions, so she really had to figure it out on her own and looking at the pictures. The first one was a little bit of a lift with the lever and it had a gas fill up, which was cool. This one has a garage that opens so you could put the car inside. She's demonstrating it for us here. The car didn't fit, so she needed to put it sideways to make it work. And then lastly, the car wash had some little dial on the side that made it look like a car wash and can, the car could go in there and get clean. All in all, this was a lot of fun and she really liked it and she is so happy to add this to her car set. So this is a big thumbs up on this one. This is Say What Junior. Does anyone know if this is part of a larger game, like a adult game or a different game? I'm not sure because sometimes we'll see miniature games from Dollar Tree that are similar to name brand games or maybe it has a different name. I don't know. I found this kind of in like the second that had kind of tween things. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It says it's for ages six and up and for three or more players. And it says collect all four. So I'm guessing there's different series, maybe 36 cards in here. I have never played this game before, but apparently there are some phrases on one side. And when you say them, you basically have to unscramble the babble is what it says on the box. So row lurks eights, row lurks eights, roller skates. <laughs> Ah, did I get it? I got it. I'm so proud of myself. Manning quacks and ducks. Manning quacks and ducks. Manning quacks and ducks. Many, many. Oh, I totally didn't get it. <laughs> Raining cats and dogs. So you kind of get the idea of the concept of what the cards are for. And there's all kinds of fun faces on here that you had to figure out what they're saying. There's an instruction card in here. It says the oldest player who um, starts will draw the card and show it to the players. And the first player to unscramble the phrase and answer correctly wins the card. So the first player to win five cards wins the game. Very simple, great travel game. Great, like waiting for dinner, restaurant activity kit game. I'm kind of like thinking this is fun. And I'm sure you get pretty quick about it. Any feedback you guys have on this would be great to know. Definitely think it's a win. Big thumbs up. This is the squashy sculpt game of sculpting charades. So I have seen this in Dollar Tree for maybe a few months now. And I've been really curious. And a lot of you on Instagram has said it's pretty decent. So let's see what it comes with. And then I'll show you a little bit of us actually playing it. What do we got here? Oh, it comes with a timer. Just for the timer alone, that's a good deal. Those timers are great to have. All right, so we have an, our instruction sheet here that tells us in different languages, apparently. Here's the right language. Uh, choose your teams, pick a card, flip the timer. The team 
that is drawing then has until the timer runs out of skull and have their teammates guess the creation. Successful, you win the points on the card. First team to 20 wins. Sounds simple enough. Four colors of clay. I'm not too impressed by the colors. On the package, it looks far more colorful with the four different colors on the package. So meh, it's all right. The amount of clay, not too impressed because that look at that in my hand. I was like, what can you make with that? I'm not sure. So you might have to supplement with dough to do this. Um, we have this orange color, this, I don't know, what is that? Like coral, peach? Hmm don't know like a light green and a dark green if anybody has gotten this and you've opened it up and you have different colors of clay can you let me know in the comments i want to know if it comes with different colors depending on the box or if everybody's getting these same ugly colors because they're not very pretty let's take a look at the cards um it says helicopter and it's in two different languages and then it has the point value on the card so five points unicorn sailboat okay so these are very doable thing I, things i think for my age range kids rockets banana bicycle okay so very easy common things that you have to sculpt and they have to guess it after you sculpt it before the timer ends so for the cards i think it might be be worth it to have it pre-made for you however you can easily come up with a list of things to draw and then use whatever dough you have at home time it on a phone or a stopwatch or if you already have a timer so i say all in all this is something that you could probably pull together yourself if you really wanted to but if you wanted it done for you eh, it would be worth it i'm going to give this one a thumbs down simply because the materials themselves doesn't really i don't know doesn't really do it for me i could have had more dough and better colors and then probably could have had a little bit bit more cards so we're gonna give it a thumbs down although it does have everything it says it does and it's a fun game concept i just think could have had a little bit more for the dollar this is the make your own gem stickers and i was intrigued by this because we like diamond painting in our house i don't know if anybody else does out there but we're big fans and so my kids like diamond painting and this is basically just a smaller version of it so let's see what it comes with the um, wrapping says there's five sticker sheets and there is look at the pretty gem so there's the gems and then it comes with this little book stickers and you're supposed to decorate now it doesn't show you where to decorate which i thought it would it doesn't so you get one two, five different sheets and they're all kind of fun stuff we got rainbows unicorns hearts now if you know anything about diamond painting diamond painting is basically a canvas and on the canvas you have all of these numbers and they correspond to a particular diamond color and you basically adhere the little gems on to the canvas almost like a paint by number now what i was expecting on this gem sticker thing is that they would have the spots that we're supposed to put the gems on and it doesn't so they're basically just adding gems to stickers i am disappointed in this one so unfortunately this one is going to get a thumbs down just because it isn't quite like the diamond painting experience i was thinking of and there's no direction on where to put the gems you're just putting gems on here in any place that you want and all the gems are pretty but some of them look too big for the stickers quite frankly thumbs down you guys this one just didn't do it for us this one is the pop art paint by number i know we're getting really crafty over here and i don't know if this is just a one-off for dollar tree or if they plan on having more of these they're from this brand art Lux fine art all right oh we've got a couple things here okay we have a little guide here a paint by number guide there's the color guide on there and then even has a mixing guide too so i have a feeling you might have to do some mixing you do have to do mixing so we have the primary color colors in the paint pots and that's all that's in the box so what are we painting according to the box we're painting a dog that looks like pop art so let's check that out. There's two, I didn't realize that. So that's cool. So there's two different paintings. These are supposed to be your canvases and they feel like canvas on the top. Like it has a canvas texture, but it's like a paper backing. So quality, nah, it's okay. It's decent, it works. Size wise, that's as big as my hand. That's not bad. And then you get two, so that's kind of cool. We also get a paintbrush. I probably would have preferred for the younger kids for them to have no painting what ages are they recommending six and up on this one because mixing colors can be a little bit difficult so what i would do instead is probably just have them paint those colors whatever they want or they can try and mix them if they wish to it just might be frustrating for some kids who just don't know how to do it my daughter is 10 working on this and she didn't really find it too difficult. I can definitely see how younger kids could find it more difficult to do, especially with the smaller spots where the numbers are. And she did do a lot of the mixing and actually enjoyed the mixing on this project. 
All in all, it was successful and it came with everything you need. It's just a great one-off project that you can do with your kids. This one would actually be a thumbs up. The felt flower kits have been around for a while. They're from Crayola and Crayola has been putting together some really cute kits at the dollar section or the dollar tree. Every time I get something Crayola, it's it's been pretty good. These are recommended for ages four and up on both of them. We have some tulips here. There's four flowers that make, make four of these flowers over here and there's 16 pieces in here so we're going to be making some tulips and I like these kind of kits because they're just great afternoon projects rainy day projects or just when you have some boredom and you want something to do and they're just kind of fun to pull out and to have as back stock oh look how cute this is okay these are really adorable so you got all the flower pieces that you need oh look at the little face on that tulip isn't that cute oh gotta hand it to Crayola okay so we have all our flowers and we have the stems and we have the leaves so it looks easy enough to put together so a preschooler kindergartner this would be a really good project and a group project because they come with multiple here is what is inside the other flower package i don't know what kind of flowers those are would that be daisies maybe pansies maybe not sure you guys will know probably better than i will i always mix things up when i'm talking on my channel and we got the same thing here with little faces and the chenille stems and then the leaves so we have some flower making to do so i set my kids to task to get to work on some of these show me what they could come up with i really do like how they put the adhesive already on the felt so it was super easy just to peel off and to apply all of the pieces worked really well together they're pre-cut it's just a great grab and go kind of thing so I think for a great, really quickie project, something to have on hand, I would definitely recommend picking some of these up. These are going to be a thumbs up for us. We have the Paint Me DIY Squishies. And for my store, these were in the Easter basket stuffer section. They might be in the toy section in your store. You might have to keep an eye out for them. They were selling pretty quickly though. They're recommending them for ages six and up. It says they are scented. I don't know. They had all kinds of different styles, but I chose the little bear one and it looks like it has a little um, hook on here that I could put it on a keychain and maybe put it on my kids' backpacks. Comes with four markers for each set, although I don't have a lot of faith in the markers if they're actually going to work. I'm recommending this for ages six and up. They were really excited to try this project, but they did feel really limited with the markers. You can see that they're using all the colors and they were all kind of, I don't know, they weren't showing up very vibrantly and plus they had a limited selection. They liked what they made, but it wasn't exactly the best. So a thumbs down on this one. Clay Dino World Shape and Decorate. Create your own clay dinos, roar, it says. There were two different styles in this one. They also had the dog one, and they caught my eye. One, because it just looks like a really great craft project and would make a great gift, but two, because it came with the eyes and the kind of an idea of what to make with them. So these are more than dough. They are kind of your air dry clay, and I was really curious to see how they did. I think the quantity or that comes in this package is probably worth the dollar 25 even if you don't make the dinosaurs all right so we've got the red we have the green we have brown yellow black and white and then we also have a whole bunch of googly eyes they don't have any other instructions other than the pictures on the back Without the instructions, I think my daughter did a pretty good job of just kind of mimicking what she saw on the back of the box. She adapted the colors to make it a little bit more like she wanted. She didn't do a lot of color mixing, just a little bit, but she really had fun developing her own characters and she even had some of the modeling clay left over. She set them out to dry and said that she really liked the project, so I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. I feel like I might have missed these giant dough bags before. I mean, have they been around and I just didn't even notice them? And then more recently, I've been into the dough and really using them in my tinker trays and my tinker boxes. And so I was really pleased to see they had larger quantities of the single color. So I stuck with the primary. We have yellow. It's like one color per bag, blue and red recommended for ages three and up. And then it also says the bags are resealable. And then there's cookie cutters in there. Dough itself, I'm actually not too worried about because I feel like I've used it before in the past in my tinker videos and they've been really cool. I just want to check out the comes with it. Oh, we've got a little duck and then a little, I don't know, almost looks like a fidget spinner. And then look at all of this. Okay, so this is great. Quite a bit. <laughs> I would say this is several containers worth. This is great. So this dough is really, really nice, you guys. I would actually recommend it against um, even the regular name brand Play-Doh because it works the same, feels the same, touch, 
smells a little bit better. I feel like Play-Doh scents their dough. I don't know if that's true. And then it comes with the two cookie cutters. So in the other package, let's check out those. I do like that the bags are resealable. I think that's actually a big advantage. What do we got? This one. So it's not what's in the package, but it's the same shape, a butterfly, even though the package says it's a green butterfly. And then we have a green elephant and then the yellow dough. In the blue, we got a yellow star and a blue heart. So I have a feeling the colors of the cookie cutters are just gonna vary depending on which one you get, like, like a surprise bag. Also what's neat on here is on the back, it has a little cool mixing color chart on here. So if you wanted to mix in your dough and make colors, you can do so. All in all, you guys, this one I think definitely deserves a thumbs up. It is just a great value. And if you could just pick one color if you wanted to and get two cookie cutters with it, I think that's amazing for some really fast activities. There are a ton more Dollar Tree things that I have tried and I put them all into a Dollar Dollar Tree toy test playlist so you can go and check those out. I'll put that up here on the screen and I'll see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.